Hey guys, just going to give you a quick video tutorial on adding a second monitor to your desktop. You're going to need a couple things here. You're going to need a VGA cable. You're going to need a monitor. This is a second monitor I have that I'm going to install onto my desktop that I have right there. You're going to need that and you're going to need a power cable. Two obvious things you'll need to set up your second monitor. This is the female end of the VGA. Uh, you, this is where you're going to insert your cable into that part which is connected to your desktop. So I'm going to show you how to do this right now. So all you're going to do is in fact grab your cable. This is I'm using a DVI cable here. I'll explain the difference between the DVI and a VGA in just a second. Plug this guy in here and then you just screw one screw in. Make sure it gets plugged in all the way and the pins don't bend. Crucial part, you do that and you almost wreck your cable or you wreck the desktop itself. Screw them in and you're good to go. This right here is a VGA cable. This is the male end. This is very the, the very bottom of the cables that you can use for your monitors. Most new monitors don't even use VGA. They work the exact same as a DVI though. Plug it, make sure the pins don't bend, then screw. Very uh, basic Older computers and monitors will use this, but newer computers and monitors won't. They'll use the next one, which I'll show you is DVI. Most cables now are DVI or they're HDMI, which I don't have. DVI are the, uh, their, their picture is much better than VGA, and you'll find them, uh, uh, the quality is uh, superb. It's great stuff, just like HDMI. One difference between HDMI it's very thin, it's a very small cable, and you just stick it right in. No screws at all, and it locks into place. Uh, DVI and VGA are the same way. Plug it and screw. It's the best. Uh, I, I stick with DVI just because the quality is so much better. And that is how you get your monitors to work. So now you have two monitors, you're good to go. The second monitor will automatically... Uh, be your desktop background and what you can do is drag and drop um, programs and icons to the second monitor. That is the easiest way to set it up and the most basic. I get into really complex detail but I don't want to confuse you guys. That's where you can learn by yourself. It's pretty easy stuff too. Um, make sure, see the problem with having two monitors is that you almost want them the same. Mine are the same uh, I'm getting a second monitor of the same size and height. See, as you can tell, the difference is quite large. This is an older model too, so the quality isn't as high as the other one. You want to get almost the identical monitors if possible. It'll help you out a bunch, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good one.